over here. Keshu told me to take a thinking break. It helps to take a break sometimes, you know? From thinking, so you can think better later. Anyway, how are the ambitions doing? Have you figured out a better place to hide them? Well, that sounds bad, obviously. What happened? Oh, I knew there was a reason we plucked him out of Vandasius' fortress in the Deadlands. I mean, other than preventing a human sacrifice. So who is this helpful person? Stick close to them. You need to keep the ambition safe and out of Andasius' clutches. While you're away, I'm going to continue helping Keshu's Blackfin Legion. And I want to be around when my cousins from Valenwood finally arrive. Good luck! Keep an open mind. That's a Dramora. Sombrin, what's going on here? Easy, everyone. This is Zaina. She can help us. Mercenary, why don't you speak to her? Interesting. I didn't expect to hear from Sombrin again after he left, despite my advice. But to find him in the presence of a powerful mortal and two other ambitions... But where are my manners? Greetings, mortal. I am Zyna. And so I did. I sensed his need and offered my assistance. He learned well, and as he will tell you, I never betrayed him. Is that why he has summoned me? Because those other two ambitions now face the same danger that almost consumed him? Then you must bring them to my sanctuary. They are far more than anything you can imagine. I helped Sombrin because I didn't want to see him fall into Merun's Dagon's hands, or destroy himself with his own power. I will do the same for the others. I hide in the Deadlands. Yes, Dagon's realm. But I have ways to protect us. Before you bring them, they must be attuned to this realm. Find slivers of the Deadlands lodged in your world. Sombrin will show you how to use them to attune the ambitions. As I said, Zyna helped me. And she can help Kalia and Destron. You just have to trust her. And if you can't trust her, trust me. Forgive me, but in my experience, most of Nern takes a dark view of Dramora. Zyna found me when I was at my worst. If she wanted me dead, she could have killed me years ago or just let me destroy myself. Instead, she helped me, taught me control. Oh. Of that, I'm certain. Competition in the Deadlands is fierce, especially among the non-aligned Remora. I know that she seeks allies to call upon when the need arises. Having three ambitions who owe you a favor? Oh, that's like gold to Zyna. Let me mark your map. Zyna told me where to find these slivers of the Deadlands when I needed them. Dagon cultists often enshrine these shards whenever they find them. You'd be surprised how often chunks of oblivion make their way to Nern. I'll describe the process when you return. I need to prepare a portal at a place where the planar boundaries are thin. Take Kalia and Destron and gather the slivers. Then I can attune them to the Deadlands. I also marked where to meet me on your map. Our powers interact strangely with the natural forces of the Deadlands. That's why we need to be attuned. Of course, I underwent the process years ago. Now we must help the twins do the same. Keep them safe, 
Then meet me on the road south of Gideon. No, you're not an ambition. Besides, you've been to the Deadlands already and suffered no ill effects. If the twins attempted that before we attuned them, the plane would rip them apart. Our power is connected to Mehrun's Dagon in some way. I'm not entirely sure. I just know that there's some element of Mehrun's Dagon inside us, and it wants to return whence it came. I think that's what Von Dacia hoped to accomplish by killing me. Anyway, I'd rather not see that happen to any of us. I suppose we must trust in Sombrin's experience. He knows quite a lot more about our powers than we do. Does it matter? I felt the power inside me when I lost control back at the temple. I couldn't stop it. If Sombrin hadn't suppressed my flames, I would have ignited the city. Unless you know another way to fix me, I don't think we have a choice. Let's find these objects from the Deadlands as Sombrin's mentor suggested. If it helps keep me and my sister alive, we've got to try it, no matter the risk. No, but I never heard of ambitions either before all this began. We're in new territory here, but as long as my sister and I are in danger, I'll take help wherever I can get it. Let's go and find these objects. Can you believe it, Kalia? We're going to be great heroes! What's heroic about being consumed by our own powers? Zyna taught Sombrin to control his powers. She'll do the same for us. If the cultists are our own powers, don't kill us first. Come now, sister. Where's your sense of adventure? What if Zyna only wants to use us for our power, Destron? She can't force us. You heard her. She needs allies, and we're as powerful as they come. I've read the stories. Pacts with Daedra never turn out well. I'll protect you, Kalia. You have my word. Silly little brother. I'm the one who protects you. You're barely older, only by a moment.
You found the Deadland Slivers? Good. I set up the portal at the top of the hill behind me. Alatoon, Kalia, and Destron. Then we can make our way to the summit. I need you to deal with a complication for me. Creatures were drawn to the hillside by my actions. Could you make sure the path to the top is clear? The last thing we need is for some mundane and random threat to provoke a response from Kalia or Destron. Right? Just like we discussed, focus on the slivers of Deadlands. It's working! I've never traveled by portal before. Quick, step inside. Follow when you're ready, friend. I greet you, mortal. As with Sombrin, I shall do all that I can to aid the twins. But first, they must survive the Ashen Forest. They must walk the path of the Obelisks. Before I can teach them to contain their power, they must first come to understand it. The path of the Obelisks will help them do so. They must visit the three ancient oracles and learn the truths that each will reveal. Protect the twins from the dangers of the forest. They cannot unleash their power safely until they have learned to control it. At each obelisk, you will bear witness to the truths they learn. Come to me when all is said and done. Then we shall see. The power of these two ambitions grows with every passing moment. You must hurry. The path begins to the northwest. Look for the obelisks of origin, empowerment, and inevitability. Each will reveal a hidden truth. The Dramora of my clan have dwelt in the Deadlands for ages uncounted. This is the seat of my power, just as it is Mehrun's Dagon's. My purposes, however, are my own. Allegiances among Daedra are not as simple as they are in the mortal world. Let us just say that I do not wish to see Mehrun's Dagon succeed in this endeavor. The ambitions must not fall into his hands. 
I cannot say for certain. Their truths are their own, not mine. Yet I know that they must walk this path. A mortal cannot become what they are meant to be without first understanding what they are. Much remains hidden from these two ambitions. be the first obelisk. Prepare yourself, brother, while our friend activates it and serves as our witness. Something's happening. The babes are asleep? Oh, I couldn't get the boy to stop bawling. I fed the twins until they were full and exhausted. Your Majesty, welcome. The babes are healthy and strong. As commanded, my Emperor. She bore twins. As Merun's Dagon commanded, so it has been done. Our parents and the High Priest? I don't understand. The obelisk of empowerment. Activate it, if you would, friend. It's starting. Time for the final ritual, my emperor. Proceed, high priest. Oh, Merun's Dagon, prince of ambition and destruction, imbue these infants with your power! Let it ripen and grow within these vessels until the appointed time. As so Dagon wills it. Let it be done. Our parents were sacrificed to Mayrun's Dagon? Why? Us. 
foul thing. Leave us be! on its own. I suppose we should step inside. Is that us up there? And Mayroon's Dagon? Is this our future, Kalia? Is this... inevitable? How long ago was it? When I crushed you and claimed the ambitions for myself? It must be rather depressing to see that all your efforts were in vain. My victory is inevitable. Visions. You must understand the forces with which you meddle. Given your failures before you died, that doesn't surprise me. You entered the portal at the obelisk of inevitability in the Deadlands. What could be more inevitable than the future? Look around and see for yourself. The very fact that you stand before me proves that you didn't stop me. You didn't save the ambitions. You didn't save anyone. I destroyed you. Now this realm belongs to my lord and master, Mehrun's Dagon. who stands behind me. Look at the throne on which I sit. Meron's Dagon may be the master of all Nern, but he has given me Tamriel as my reward. From High Rock to Morrowind, all bow to my will. There is no power in Tamriel equal to mine. Mercenary, time to go. Through the portal, quickly. Dacia. He had us displayed like trophies. We saw our future. We're doomed. Snap out of it. What you saw was just one possible inevitability. Nothing is set in stone. I didn't think that was how my story was going to end. I really thought we were going to win. Isn't it? You saw the Prince of Destruction. How can we hope to fight something like that, let alone his High Priest? Maybe it's better if we just let our powers consume us. At least then Vandacia won't be able to claim us. Now you sound like Kalia and Sombrin. You're right, though. We have power beyond anything Vandacia possesses. That's why he wants us. Once Zyna teaches us to control it, we'll be unstoppable. All right. We're with you. Let's go get this done. Vandacia is going to win. We saw ourselves. He was drawing power from us, like sipping wine from a chalice. But you saw how Vandacia looked. Strong. 
powerful, and Mehrun's Dagon looking down on us. How do we stand against that? I don't... Can it really be that simple? Was that the point of these visions? To show us how we were created, and to reveal a dark and possible future? All right. I understand. Just because the night is long, doesn't mean the sun won't rise tomorrow. The obelisk of inevitability reveals just one possible future. True, it's the most likely outcome, but it isn't the only one. Now that we know where things are heading, we can work to change the course. We're dealing with forces beyond our understanding. It was always going to be a difficult journey, but the obelisk of inevitability only shows what will happen if events continue on their current course. That future hasn't happened yet. The perils of visiting oracles. Are we better off knowing what is to come or continuing on in blissful ignorance? I believe our choices matter. I choose to resist Mehrun's Dagon, and no vision will sway me from that path. I hope you feel the same. for the twin ambitions, let us speak. We can finally greet each other in person, mortal. Before we begin the process that will permit the twins to control their powers, I must ask you a single question. Why does one who abhors Mehrun's Dagon care what happens to his ambitions? A noble sentiment, but they are more than just people. They are powerful weapons. Dagon's priest imbued them with a portion of the Lord of Destruction's own energy when they were born. It has grown and intensified in the intervening years. Imagine that each ambition is like a mortal bank. Instead of gold, the priest deposited a portion of Dagon's energy inside them. That energy grew with them, compounding and doubling year after year like interest on your savings. It also transformed. In every way, what was once just of oblivion became mixed with Nern. Now that energy is a part of both realms. And that is why Mehrun's Dagon wants it back. It will give him the connection to Nern that he so greatly desires. A path to your world. Their power is like a volcano, building until released as an explosion or a lava flow. One is catastrophic, the other merely destructive. I will delay the eruptions while teaching them to dissipate and maintain control. You may observe, of course. We must begin the ritual at once. This way. Stay close, friend. I'll feel better knowing you're nearby. <laughs> 